Well, in less than 12 hours, got another kayak tournament. This one's gonna be on Melton Hill Lake. Uh, I fished it once before with uh, Josh from Bass and Beer. Um, that's a different spot. I, I'm kind of just started now thinking about it today, actually. I wasn't really gonna uh, fish it until I started thinking about it today, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to fish it tomorrow. I got all my kayak loaded up and all my gear and everything, because actually, because today I went fishing with Justin from Kayak Catfish, and he's gonna be fishing the turn tomorrow. So he kind of talked me into going. So I got everything like pretty much ready to go in my truck. So um, I might drive home tonight. It's uh, it's not too far away, but I may stay up here somewhere close. I just need to run to a bait store, maybe get some new hooks. Come six o'clock in the morning, I guess I'll be putting in right here. I, I found this place, just kind of looking around. It's a creek, a uh, little creek, um, pretty shallow. I saw some fish swimming around. I had a couple bites, just kind of messing around. And it runs into the river, not very far down. So it wouldn't be far for me to travel. Uh, hopefully there won't be a lot of people here in the morning because uh, it's gonna come early. And uh, hopefully I can get here and get to fishing. I just caught this guy just making some casts. I gotta find a little bit bigger than that tomorrow. So hopefully uh, he doesn't scare off everybody else. I'll be back in here tomorrow. Well, sure is a nice morning. Feels nice and cool. It's in the 60s right now. It's gonna get hot today. It's six, about 6.40, so I'm a little late, which is normal. The moon is still, it's like a full moon and it's still out. I saw it like on the way here. So I don't know. If, so I would think like the bite would be really good this morning. Probably would have been good to get here at Kagadon. There's uh, at least four other kayakers that are putting in here, but there's a couple different tournaments going on. So I'm not sure which tournament they're in, but I, I got a plan. I'm gonna go in here and fish shallow for a while, then work my way out to the river. All right, just checked in. Got just over seven hours to fish. I uh, got three, I got four poles rigged up with lures on it. Let's go start exploring. Some of this water might be real shallow. Kind of have to weed it out. It's a little, I'm dragging on something right now. Oh, I see some action going on there. But it's only a three fish limit, so that's why it's pretty cool. Anything can happen, just three decent fish is all you need. And you got a chance to finish in the top three, which would be, should be top three, should be paying. Something was biting at it pretty hard. <laughs> it bit my worm in half. Something grabbed a hold of it. <laughs> oh, I'm doing fine. At least it's not hot yet. Not yet. It'd be like 90. I oh, know. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can catch a few fish before it gets hot. I know. I've got nothing. Well, I got one that was 11 inches, so didn't cut. Well, it's time to change things up a little bit. It's uh, it's after 8.30, I think it's getting close to nine. Uh, still don't even have a keeper yet. So I've talked to some other people, everybody seems like they've only got one or, or none. That's a fish. Stay on, stay on, stay on. That should be a keeper if I can get him in. Yes, sir. Wow. I just said I was going to change up, come out to the lake part. And I'm thinking, I got to make some casts where maybe somebody else ain't casting. I threw up in that tree. And this is a little uh, young pulse. I've been really testing out and I've really got a lot of confidence in. He got me a fish. I think he's barely going to qualify. Nothing giant. 
He's a skinny little guy. I think he's barely going to qualify. Keeper number one, 13 and a half inches. But I got to start somewhere, so man, I'm glad to get one fish. On there, hold on there. Oh, he's so good. Oh, got him on a four inch yum dinger. Coming into a new little cove here. I don't know if he's gonna be long enough. Hopefully he's at least 12. Whew. I got one pitcher and then he flopped back in the water. He was laying still and I was holding on to him and he still flopped back in, but. Oh, I got one pitcher where he was still, I thought he was flopping on that pitcher, so. That's my second keeper. He was 12 and a half inches long. So um, that'll be my second one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it in online and get back to work in this cove right here. Update time, 10.45. I found a little spot, a little shaded area. I got out of the kayak, stretched my legs for a little bit, ate some chips, drank some water, some Gatorade. Um, Got a, you know, three, almost three and a half, a uh, little over three hours more to go to fish. I uh, I think I'm going to try to come out here on the main channel and go down this side and try to find the shade. It's getting really hot today. Got to try to find these shade areas that keep on fishing. There it is. There it is. Just like I drew it up. Go on. He's a little guy, but I don't want to take a chance of him coming off. Uh, he might, he may barely be 12 inches. Uh, as I came around this bend, I'm, I'm kind of right off the main channel of the river. The water's a lot clearer. It's rocky on the walls. I said it's time to go extra finesse. We're going Heldramite, dropping it in there and give us fish something they maybe nobody's thrown in there yet and hopefully find some smallmouth and i got a smallmouth he's a quarter inch short all right let's see if we can find another one Yeah. A huge smallmouth chased it out. But he didn't eat it. Oh man, that thing was big. Man, that really would have helped me in my tournament. Well, we're moving. Got two hours to catch one more keeper. Well, I'm officially getting desperate. Got an hour and 20 minutes. And I ain't caught a fish in over an hour or so. I don't know. I fished some really good sections. I thought for sure I'd get some stuff. Nothing. Oh. Oh, look at, there's a little bass hitting right here. I just need one. Oh, they're little bass. I just need one more keeper. So I came to the other side of the river. Oh, I had one follow. I'm gonna go four inch yum dinger. Kind of just gotta get gotta get a fish in. Well, I did it. I got my limit. 
with less than 30 minutes to go. I'm trying to upload it right now. My camera ran out in the bag. I'm like, there was less than an hour to go. I was like, I'm not even worried. I flip up under that little shed over there. And my third and could be final fish. Only got 30 minutes left. Is this monstrous <laughs> 12 and a half inch. It's over 12 inches, but look how skinny this thing is. This has not been the best day of fishing for sure. I uh, got on a little uh, four inch yum dinger. So that's my third one. Probably not gonna win anything today, but I got my three and I got 30 minutes to fish as I work my way back to the truck. Going back out? Wait a sec. Are you going back out? I'm not doing one more pass. Uh, Oh man, I barely got a limit. What'd you say? I barely got a limit. I barely got a limit too. I got a limit in the last 30 minutes. That's me, I just had 12 and a half inch one. Mine were all tiny. I had the skinniest fish. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get one good fish all day. Oh, that's a solid fish. Well, bigger than anything else I've caught. Wow. We got, uh, let me get this fish in. I think it's looking pretty good. Or not. <laughs> well, actually, got my biggest fish with just a little bit of time left. On the way back in. Ooh, 15 minutes to go. I mean, not a giant, but it's an upgrade. <laughs> it's not even an upgrade much. Oh my goodness, it's 13 inches. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade a half an inch from my puny fish I have right now. I'll still. Oh man, I gotta do this better. That fish just got off. Well, there goes my half inch upgrade. It's a good thing it wasn't a giant. It's nice to at least catch another fish. You're all right? Uh, I caught three puny keepers. Yeah. And they were puny. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I caught was like super skinny. It was like, yeah. It was, it was a terrible day for me. It was just, in a squirrely area of the lake and caught fishing ankle deep water all day long for 51 and three quarter inches and $258.94. Congratulations, George Washington. All right, so our next round, our next couple times. This guy didn't do any good. So yeah, I got the food afterwards. Didn't get first place. Didn't get last place. Didn't get last place either. This guy, it's time for it. All right, well, let's wrap this video up. Tough day of fishing. It was, uh, it was a struggle. I came in out of 22 people, 18th. So this was my second worst uh, day ever, uh, or first second worst tournament ever. It was pretty fun though, uh, even though it wasn't a great day of fishing, it's, it's cool. And then we had a meetup afterwards where I'm starting to get to know several of these guys. Uh, some of them already knew before I started and I'm meeting some of them and it's kind of cool to kind of sit around and add some good Mexican food. It's my favorite way to end the day of fishing anyways and uh, see how they did. And a lot of people struggled to catch fish. It was hot, there was a bunch of skinny fish, uh, a, lot, a lot of those little skinny fish caught, a few good ones caught. Also trying to set up some plans with some other guys for some future videos, but well, thanks for watching. This was my tournament day on Melton Hill. Wasn't as I had really hoped for it to be, but um, that's the way it goes. That's how efficient it is, and that's what's fun about these tournaments, just trying to get out there, see what you can do. And then a lot of times, if you, if you had a bad day of fishing, a lot of other people had a bad day of fishing too. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support.